Hello, this is Kane, and this is Guide to Getting X-Fire Downloaded and Working for Halo and such. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do is go to the X-Fire website, http colon slash slash www.xfire.com. Once you get there, there will be a nice big button saying Download X-Fire. Uh, you need to hit that, wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, go ahead, find out wherever you saved it, and then run the installer. Uh, you'll want to select English, install, uh, select whatever directory you'd like. C is usually good for most users. Um, hit next, run through the installation. Put icons on your desktop if you like them, set it to run when you start if you like, blah blah blah. It's all up to you, it's pretty, stri it's pretty simple and straightforward. Uh, it'll install pretty quickly. Let it finish and you can close whatever window you had. It'll automatically launch an X-Fire update news page. It'll show you the latest patch updates. You really don't need that, especially if you're installing for the first time. Uh, you can collapse that tab on the right just by clicking the little arrow. And I have quite a few buddies and stuff, so I like to stretch my window down. Uh, if you're a new X-Fire user, hit New User right there and put in all the registration info that you need and then uh, go down to your password and stuff, set that in and once that's done you should be able to log on well rather it'll collect information about your games first then it will log on uh, in this case I actually used an old installer and so if you did that then you will come to the same screen that I did which is an update information screen, x will automatically download a patch I'll get back to you as soon as it finishes uh, updating all right, well, we're back here. It finished updating. And here, I'm back to the login screen again. Go to the login screen, put in your username and password, select whatever options you like. In this case, I like save password, but not auto login, and start XFire. If you have multiple users on the same computer, you will see multiple usernames right there. You can select whichever one you like from the list. Once XFire logs on, then you can... Uh, start doing whatever you like. If it's the first time you've installed, you'll see this screen come up. This will uh, let you put in any buddies, usernames that you like. Um, I already have plenty, so I'm just going to hit cancel. And it will now display my friends list there. Now that's all nice and good, and it's pretty simple and straightforward. So I'll uh, go ahead and hopefully skip to the options. Um, as you can see here though, uh, this will show all of your uh, buddy groups. Clans are automatically added as new groups as you join them on X-Fire and you can reorder them as you like. You'll also be able to set whether certain groups display in the options menu. That's always up to you. I usually like to keep my buddy list at the very top of the buddy list and put clans and stuff below that. Once you've done that, go to Tools, Options. On this first screen, you'll see a bunch of boxes. Uh, probably the most important is the nickname. Set that to whatever you like, and you can change a bunch of other options. They're pretty self-explanatory. In this case, I'm going to use the nickname uh, Kane. You generally want to use a nickname that will tell people who you are. Otherwise, they may not respond to you, they may block you, they may not add you as a friend, etc., etc., the list goes on. Uh, you can change your default language to below. Um, generally, you'll want to use English, especially if you're watching this because you evidently speak English, you're listening to me. Um, if you feel like mixing it up some, you can set the language to Elite, which is pretty weird. Um, it'll make you feel like a 12-year-old. As you can see there, it also has a list of real languages. The elite languages actually added as an X-Fire April Fool's Day joke and they never got rid of it. Um, X-Fire has had some great April Fool's Day jokes in the past. You could probably find them if you Google them. Anyway, um, once more, set the options as you like. They're pretty self-explanatory. And I am going to move on to the next page in the Options tab. Okay, now here you're going to have a few more options. 
Um, probably the biggest thing to catch your attention will be the big uh, blocked users screen at the very bottom of that tab. Um, I don't have anybody blocked because I just reinstalled. If you reinstall or you uh, are installing for the first time, you will not have anybody blocked either. Um, you can also set the minute delay until you're idle. Several op other options including chat. I like to enable chat logging. That's pretty nice. You right click someone's name in the buddy list, hit see chat log, and you can see everything you've ever said to them along with all these other beautiful options, Xfire is very nice to customize and set up as you like it yourself. And now that we're in the next tab, this is one of the most important tabs. You can change your key binding for uh, almost any function in Xfire, especially the in-game ones. In this case, I like to set my in-game stuff, the chat to F1, the screenshot to print screen, and the other stuff to or voice chat to F4. Um, that's pretty much all on that page, though. And here on the next page, it has another set of options. Um, Again, pretty simple, straightforward. If you have any questions, leave a comment. Here are the Files tab. Uh, you can set your uh, files to whatever you like. Generally, I like to set uh, Disabled for while you're playing a game so it doesn't cause lag. And I like to maximize the other two because if you're at your computer or you are AFK, then you generally won't mind if the file is downloading. Uh, you can also set other options, such as automatically download updates for your games. I like to turn that off since if I'm going to update a game, I like to do it myself. I don't really care for Xfire, at least in that regard. Okay, moving on to the voice chat tab, you'll want to make sure your devices are correct at the top, and then you can set it to either voice activation or key activation. I prefer key activation, it's generally much clearer and it will cause less lag. Um, you can also adjust the sliders there for bandwidth versus. Uh, quality. And then uh, the second to last tab here, games. This is one of the mo most important tabs in Xfire. Xfire is based around games. You'll see a list of all installed games that Xfire recognized. If there are any that you uh, don't see on the list but you do have, you can go into the not installed section, find them, and add them manually. Uh, in this case, I'm going to change my Halo Full directory into the Halo Trial. Uh, change that very end part. The folder should say Halo for full version. Set it to Halo Trial. As I do there. You can also add the uh, dash window and uh, dash console parameters if you like. I like them. <laughs> it's your choice if you want them. Uh, click any checkboxes that you like. I don't know why you would want to disable Xfire in-game, though. It's a really big waste. Uh, once more, you can also come down here. Um, any other games that you have installed but Xfire didn't recognize. Um, you can also cheat and track hours for games that you don't have by changing the executable for that game to the name of the executable for the game that you're trying to uh, gather hours for but I won't go into that. It's kind of advanced and really worthless. The last tab is the video capture tab. At this point in time, Xfire's video capture is pretty crappy. Um, I suggest you use Fraps or something else if you're going to try and capture video. So I just uncheck the box and there are the Xfire options. I'll check back in with you in part two for how to use the Xfire site in a bit. Um, for now, just a little more on the buddy list. The different tabs include uh, files. It'll include screenshots and videos. They automatically upload after you take them. As well as the buddy list, server list, and uh, chat room tabs. 
So once more, check back in part two for the rest.